birds and bees, today as you can tell from the title I'm going to be talking you through tips for baby cosplayers. Baby cosplayers. Get it? Because because bees, you know, they're kind of my thing. Never mind. This is a series I'm doing for people who are wanting to start cosplay or who are new to it in general. I even wrote a script so it should hopefully be a lot less babbly than my usual ones. I'm doing this with Elia the Huntress makeup being done in the background and I tried to make the sound quality a bit better with a headset but it is just a gaming headset so I'm really sorry if it's still grainy and you can hear my neighbor's dogs barking shut the hell up moving on okay so basically I wanted to start off with what I believed was the most important and that's comparing yourself to other people to put it quite plainly don't do it in comparing yourself to other people you will bring down your own self-image and you can only see what people willingly put out there and there's like a lot of different variables behind the scenes that you don't know about or see like for example they could have been cosplaying a lot longer than you or if they have just started but seem really amazing they could still have had years of practice with makeup or have like an older friend or sibling that has done a lot for them my point is you just do not know what's going on behind the scenes be the best version of yourself. Trying to be like someone else can only get you so far. They're going to be the best at being themselves because they are them and you are you. And you're amazing. Just work on being the best you that you can be. You're the only one who can do that and no one else will ever be able to top you in being yourself. Another thing that I do not see enough of, but I really think that people need to be doing it, is supporting other creators. Don't follow someone just so that they will follow you back and then if they don't unfollow them. Just follow because you like their work. Comment nice things on people's posts and share them around. And if you are interested in building up fitness for example, then follow people that focus on the fitness. Follow cosplayers that focus on the things that you are interested in. If you are interested in work in progress pictures so you can learn how to build things, follow people who show that. If you want to follow people that work on huge armor builds but they mainly just show that side of it, then you know, that's what you need to do. You need to be focused on following the things that you are interested in, or at least at the very start as you slowly build up because that way you will learn more as well and you will learn as you go which is very important because if you stop learning then what's the point? Being a cosplayer is all about learning as you go and the more you learn the better you will get. Even with things outside of cosplay you get out what you put in. If you put out positive vibes and compliments you'll eventually start getting them back but the same is true with the opposite. If you're toxic you'll find toxicity a lot more often. And speaking of toxicity, there can be a lot of in any community. If there is someone saying horrible things about you, try to fight the urge to argue back. A lot of the time it's more ignorance and they are projecting their own insecurities onto you because they don't know how to deal with them themselves. And I know that I am really, really guilty of this. I have a stupidly high defensive wall that will come up at the slightest tone or infliction of aggression towards me. But it's something I'm working on and it's something that I really recommend that other people try to work on as well. It's healthiest for your own peace of mind to delete and ignore or even block people if they keep harassing you or if they're insulting or rude or, you know, if they're being a dick, basically. If you give them attention, they will just keep coming back and it will get boring for them to keep trying to talk to someone that doesn't respond. Sometimes we can even get messages that can be interpreted as hate, but they are not meant as such. These ones can still really hurt, but it can just be the person genuinely not understanding why that hurts, like the simple, are you a boy or a girl? Usually it's children asking, and they don't think because of today's social norms that there is more options than the boy, girl. You know what I mean? So it's very easy to just educate someone in a polite manner if you feel that you can do that if not and it still upsets you just delete it or even ignore the comment with constructive criticism as well if you haven't asked for it the etiquette is if you get it it's it can be offensive if you have asked for it then you obviously open yourself up to that but there are things that can be learned from negative comments still and the important thing is with everything, as I said before, is to be constantly learning as you go. You can learn from mistakes, you can learn from hate comments, and if you learn from them, then, you know, it's worth it. 
people everywhere will always have different opinions. You will sometimes find ones that are similar, but the chances are that there is always going to be someone to disagree with you. So the important thing is to just make sure that you're aware you can't please everyone. Take a deep breath and move on. We all need validation. We're human. But you need to learn whose opinion actually matters most to you. The chances are your friends and the ones that you should listen to are going to love what you do because they know you. And who cares if you've got strangers saying that they don't like you? You don't know them. You're never going to have to deal with them. You don't have to see them regularly. And if you've got your friends there supporting you, what does some stranger's opinion matter anyway? So long as you have a good group of people to build you up when you need it, that is something really special. And that is something you need to be striving for. So make sure you keep spreading that positivity and eventually you'll find a great group of online friends to surround you with little flowers and happiness or whatever you think of when you think of happiness because you know like I have hay fever so I don't know why I thought flowers but I was just kind of thinking of like cutesy villain waifu Deku comic. <laughs> I don't know, ignore me. Quick shout out to TTDI for providing the contact lenses for my AO Uber Hunters. They are in Glacier Grey and you can use code Cosplay to get 10% off site wide and that's on top of any discounts they already provide. So this is going to be a series on my channel from now on until I've covered all the subjects that I feel I want to talk about. I have already done one on contact lenses for very very baby beginners and that one is in the link in the description or you can go on my page, check out some of my other videos and you'll find it there. So the video ideas I have in mind for the baby cosplay series are makeup, wig styling, making costumes yourself versus buying them online, budgeting for cosplay, self photography and first time con going, also some basic products and things like that. If there's anything else that you'd like me to do a video on for baby cosplayers then hit me up in the comments below and for now I love you all, you're all valid and I appreciate each and every one of you, bye!